Until recently, I was sure there was no easy way to draw BBMN diagrams with AI. But thanks to my recent connections, I have finally found a method that might be the total game changer. I have tried it and I want to share my thoughts with you. In this video, I will explain the current state of possibilities large language models provide for working with BBMN and then I will show you the first working solution that does not require additional bells and whistles. When ChatGPT was first released to the public, I instantly started using it for many business analyst tasks, including attempts to create VPMN diagram. However, all my attempts to generate a diagram failed because they met the foundational problem. Most generative AI tools like ChatGPT utilize large language models designed for language generation. Clearly, diagrams are not text, so using plain LLMs for this purpose was less than efficient. Then this year I released my UML plus ChatGPT video. I found a way to teach ChatGPT to generate correct syntax and render it consistently with specialized software. You can learn all about that right here. But anyway, my success made me wonder, is there something similar available for BPMN? And yes, there it was. As you may know, BPMN was created not just to draw pictures. In addition to being a standard for process modeling, BPMN was designed to be executable by the business process automation software. To achieve this, any diagram you create in the specialized software automatically creates an XML file that contains all the details about the diagram elements. I asked ChatGPT to create a simple business process description for product ordering. Next, I used it as a prompt to create an XML-based file containing the BPMN diagram that should be readable by any kind of BPMN software. After half a minute of waiting, here it was. I got the file and imported it to bpmn.io. Just like this, without extra steps, I finally got my first BPMN diagram. I was absolutely happy and tried a couple more times. Prompt, file, import and… what the heck? It didn't work for the second time, third time, fourth or further. Out of 10 attempts, only 2 or 3 were successful. When I started to investigate, I discovered that something was wrong with XML every time I generated a new file. 4 months later, I found a video on YouTube claiming to have fixed the XML generation problem with the help of newer GPT model. Yet still, I had around 60-65% to success with the generated file. According to comments under the video, other people faced the same issue. Yes, the model was better. Yes, the prompts were great. But even the video's author mentioned that you should be ready to fix XML yourself afterwards. I was almost ready to relinquish my BPMN crusade when something really beautiful happened. Fellow business analyst from the UK stumbled upon my channel, contacted me and shared what he was working on. It was the custom fresh BPMN plus AI software tailored to business analyst needs. He showed me the prototype and it was absolutely fantastic. Along with other beta testers, I shared some feedback that was actually incorporated into the tool and a few months later I finally got my hands on MVP. Today, one month into the tool, I am prepared to provide my honest review. Long story short, meet DBA Copilot, the only solution on the market right now to draw a BPMN with AI and edit results right after. BA Copilot is a web application that you can access from any device. You can use the link in the description to try the functionality for free by yourself right now. When you log in, you see two zones. On the left is the navigation panel where you can access your settings, a list of all the diagrams and a chat section that is opened by default. On the right, you will see all the action. Settings are pretty easy. You can see your usage limits and access your billing page. The following section called the vault contains all the diagrams you created. You can view and edit everything you produce with chat, but if you want an AI assistant to help, click view in chat to jump into action. The only thing to add about this tab is that if you delete the related chat, the diagram will also be deleted from the vault. For this video, I decided to take a typical e-commerce example. Here is the prompt I chose to start with. It is a simple description of a high-level process to see how the assistant handles it. Pass the description into the box, hit go, and now I can do some other stuff for a few minutes. This is a typical wait time for all tools, not only for this one. Depending on the model, you should expect to wait up to 2 minutes with 30 to 60 seconds on average to get a proper response. Cool. In this case, we created a diagram quite quickly. As you can see, my prompt resulted in not one, but three diagrams with different levels of detail. We got small, straight to the point and simple, we got medium and large diagrams, adding more and more details to every diagram. 
all this beauty cost me just one credit out of 50 per month. Three diagrams for the price of one, which is great bargain. It looks good and I can work with it, but I want to add more details. Now I will ask the assistant to create a detailed description of the same process. I can do it myself, but why if I have an AI assistant, right? That's the whole point. In response to my prompt, I got a massive description. I will use it now to generate the diagram and see how VA Copilot handles it. A minute later or so, here is the answer which looks great. Let's analyze what I got in my second iteration. First, we got most of the elements from the description, which is great. It's typical for LLM not to find everything in the tags that I wanted to. Second, we see that flow arrows are jammed a bit. This is also a typical limitation of any auto-generated diagram, as the system tries to find the shortest way between elements. The code doesn't have human eyes, it uses coordinates instead, so you must be just prepared to fix arrows manually with any tool. And this is how it looks with fixed arrows and slightly rearranged elements. I love the final result, it looks pretty neat now. Okay, the whole thing took me around 10, maybe 15 minutes to prompt and polish, including waiting time. It would probably take three times more time to do this from scratch if I had to create the whole thing manually. With the diagram ready, you have a few options what to do next. First, you can download it as a PNG. The image looks excellent and you can copy it to the documentation. However, it contains a small watermark of the tool at the bottom which you might want to remove when you send the diagram to the client. Secondly, you can download the BPMN file and import it into other tools such as Camunda Modeler or BPanda, or any other tool that employs BPMN.io engine. Unfortunately, widely used applications like Lucidchart, Visual Paradigm Online, and desktop programs such as Visio and Bizagi do not support BPMN files. Yet this should not stop you from using BA Copilot because it does precisely what you need it for. First, it solves the blank canvas problem when you don't know where to start with a diagram. If you use BPMN a lot, you or your company likely have a standard tool you'd want to keep using. In this case, you want to use BA Copilot to get started on a diagram and get inspiration. Secondly, you can upload any requirements document to the chat and ask the assistant to analyze the document and create a diagram based on your description. You can also upload maybe a meeting transcript that contains information about newly discussed process and BA Copilot will model it for you. Alternatively, upload your existing diagrams as images and ask the tool to suggest improvements. In all three cases, BI Copilot saves a lot of time. It provides consistent diagram generation, unlike any other approach with ChatGPT because ChatGPT is not tailored for BPMN. And as a cherry on top, you can easily polish the diagram right away and send it for approval very quickly, making everybody jealous and guess how you did it so quickly and efficiently. Finally, it is really simple. This is a breakthrough software. It is the only solution on the market right now that connects BPMN and AI. I urge you to try this too while it's still in its founder stage and reasonably priced. Use the link in the description to join the club before the tool becomes too popular and I'm sure the price will increase when more people learn about it. That's it about the current state of BPMN with AI. If you want to learn more about AI tools for business analysts, subscribe to my channel as I have planned more videos in my backlog for this year. While you wait, you could learn about how to make UML diagrams with ChatGPT or check another great video from my channel.